Here's a comparison between the old and the new Dexcom meter. This is the old Dexcom meter with a one hour display, the three hour display, and the nine hour display. And you can see that the writing here is fairly small and uh, everything else is relatively clear. Here's the new Dexcom meter with the one hour display and you can see it clearly says one hour and also the time here where it gives you the current time is much larger. The three hour display it's clear that it says three hour and the nine hour display. So if you compare that time there at this time here, you can see the time is a lot more difficult to read, so that's going to help people that have problems with vision. Now I want to compare how you prime this to say that it's about to receive a sensor. You do the normal thing, you click through the one hour, the three hour, and the nine hour, then you hold the button down for a couple of seconds until it gets to the prime, and you can see this is it's much clearer, there's a moving finger. So if I go back to this and click down again, just watch how the finger looks as if it's actually pushing a transmitter into place on the sensor. So I click OK. And it counts down. And at that stage it goes back to this and you can see that there's a, an indication here that it's already started to um, go through the two hour period. If I compare that with the old Dexcom, I click through the one, the three, and the nine hour displays, and I click down, you'll see that this, it's a little bit hard I think for people to distinguish between whether it's, it's being put into place or it's being taken out of place. And if you compare that with the one where it's being taken away from, I think it's a little bit harder for some people to distinguish between the two. Since I'm resetting this, I'm going to click OK to say I'm taking you away. And then I'm going to go back through to the 9-hour display. And I'm going to hold it down for a couple of seconds. And then I'm going to say I've just added a new sensor, and I put the receiver in place. And you can see, instead of the little time clock representation, it goes to that. And now at this stage, this is, is going through the two-hour priming period, but there's no real indication that that's happening. Whereas with the new Dexcom, if I click on it here, I have this great period here indicating it's not really ready, but this is counting down, indicating that um, this, the sensor is going through that two-hour initialization period. And I think that's a lot clearer and a big improvement.